Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial. We're gonna be doing this text. It's kind of a 3D looking text. Um, there's some layers to it, nice background and nice shadow. So let's get started. So what's fun about this text is, as you can see here, even though the layers are, layers are all kind of offset from each other and overlapping and shadows on top of each other, it's, it's dynamic. I, can't, I don't have to go in and, and offset all those individual letters every time I change it. So I can come in here to this text layer and change it. And as you can see, everything just updated and the text and the, each letter is still offset that way. So it's cool that way. So let's start with a new composition. Give yourself a background and let's bring in our text. Okay. Make sure that text is good and centered. Now, before I do the background, I'm going to first start on the text because that's really the whole point of this tutorial. So let's go in and I'm going to go down into the text layers and we have an animate feature here. So I'm going to click on that. First thing I'm going to do is enable per character 3D. We're going to be using that with this. And the next thing I want to add an animator to this and which is a position animator. So just go to click on animate and add position. Now I'm going to take this range selector, highlight it and delete it because what I'm going to do is add a different selector called the wiggly uh, selector. What the range selector does and what the wiggly selector and any selector is it determines what to select in this text to apply this animator. So right now, if I change the Z position, you can see the wiggly, if I were to animate this, it kind of wiggles through and just randomly picks letters. Now I don't want it to wiggle like that, I actually want it to hold still. So if I come into this uh, wiggly selector and under wiggles per second, set that to zero. And now we've got just a, a set thing. So then let's come in over to the character palette and let's bring everything in closer together so they're all overlapping. Next thing, I'm going to add a light to this. So go to Layer, New, Add a Light. Just a spotlight is fine. And then I'm going to take this in Z space, move it back so everything is lit. Now if I click on the text layer, if I hit A twice in a row, so AA, it brings up the material options. And then I want to, right here where it says cast shadows, turn that on. And then under the light, we're going to do the same thing, AA, to bring up the material options. And we're going to the shadow diffusion, turn that up. Now it's not quite where I want it yet. So the next thing I want to do is come into the text again. And in the text animator, in the wiggly selector, I'm going to change this random seed until it looks kind of how I want it. Okay. I'm liking that. That looks pretty darn cool. And I might come in and maybe add a little bit more diffusion to this. I want it nice and soft shadows. I just want it to be able to see that, yes, these are um, in different layers. And that on its own is looking pretty cool. Now, if we wanted to add a shadow to this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that background layer. I'm going to duplicate it. Let's change the name to Shadow and then we make it 3D. Let's change the rotation of this. So it is underneath the letters and you can see already there's a shadow on that. Let's make it nice and big so it captures the whole shadow. And then if we go into the material options for this, remember that's AA, and under Accept Shadows, click it so it only accepts shadows. Now we also have, you can see up here, there is a little bit of a hard line. So if we take the Ellipse tool 
and then make sure that layer is selected and then double click and you can see it's going to add that circle mask to it. And then I can come in and feather that as well. So that's nice and soft. Of course, whenever I add this angle to, it's going to change the angle of the shadow and really change the way that this looks. So I think that's looking pretty cool. Maybe let's bring it up a little bit so we can see more shadow. Now to the background, I want to create kind of that infinite background look, you know, like a white wall, but you know, it's a green wall with this one. So the easiest way to do that is I'm going to take this background layer, go up to effect, generate CC light sweep, and it adds this sweep across it. Let's change that color to black, light reception from add to composite, change the direction to 90 degrees, turn off the edge intensity, and then let's kind of center that, maybe a little bit high of center. And the width, let's bring it nice and wide. And what you want is just kind of a hint of a horizon. Because um, that's how those rooms are built. There is a corner back there, but it's usually curved. Um, but it's going to be darker because the light's not going to get to it as evenly. Okay, so we're almost done. Now if we wanted to add just some more animation to this, let's go to the text layer again. And I already have this animator one that's creating the offset of the letters. So I want to do some more animations to this. So let's add another animator instead of adding to this existing one. So let's just animate the position. And maybe we can have them drop down. So move it up. And then let's go into the range selector. And as we move down, sweep across, you can see that's going to animate in. Keyframe the start, move across, bring it up to 100%, and let's turn on motion blur, and let's give this a quick RAM preview. Okay, here we are. Now, I must warn you, this is not a quick light render. Um, that right there, I you know, I, I skipped through it, but that RAM preview took me about four minutes to do and this is you know you know three or four seconds worth of animation so it's not an easy uh, it's not a quick thing there's a lot of heavy lifting going on but I think the results are really cool looking uh, it's got a very nice look very soft shadows um, the way that the, the letters are overlapping is very cool and again it's dynamic so if I wanted to go in and switch out the text it was all I have to do is switch the text and everything will update automatically. So if you have any questions, please um, just put comments down below and I can answer them for you. Well, at least hopefully I can answer them for you. And thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.